Hello guys and welcome to Power BI Zone. In today's DAX tutorial, we discuss a powerful function in DAX called Summarize. Now, what is the usage of Summarize? Summarize is basically used to return a summary table. Okay, so let's say you are having multiple columns in your particular table and you need to see a summary table group by country or group by country and year you need to calculate the sum of sales or sum of profit so in order to calculate this summary table using group by you will be actually using this summarize function so let us quickly see the syntax of summarize the first the first argument that is passed to a summarize is a table now this is very important because summarize takes a table as an argument and it also returns a table as an output okay the second argument that can be passed to a summarize is the group by name so let's say i need to do a group by country so i'll over here i'll give country and let's say there will be multiple columns which you can give in this group by names right so you can go ahead and do a group by country and then do a group by year and so on ultimately what do you need you need the expression right you need the sum of sales sum of profit and not only that if you are giving sum of let's say sales amount this you have to give that column a particular name okay so uh, let's say i call that as sales instead of calling it as sum of sales amount i'll call that as sales so so we'll be actually taking a look at a couple of uses of summarize the first usage of summarize is it can be used to get the distinct list of values from a column so for example if i need the distinct list of countries then what I'll do, I'll just write summarize. As I told you, the first argument to summarize will be a table. So I'll give in the table name. And the second argument should be the group by column that you want to do, right? So remember, getting the distinct list of values is also similar to a group by function, which is why you can go ahead and get the distinct list of values from a particular column by using this summarize as well. Remember, we are having other DAX function like values, and distinct to go ahead and do the same sort of functionality as well so now let us go ahead and see what happens when we actually want to do the aggregation right so for that we take a look at this particular summarize function which i have written this is nothing but it will calculate the maximum sales and maximum profit right for a particular country and year so what i am doing again the summarize the first argument that i am passing is the table and then I want to group the data by country as well as year. Multiple columns will be involved. So I have given country and year as the second and third argument. Ultimately, I need my max of sales, right? So I am giving that name to that particular column as sales and max of profit, which I'm calling it only as profit. This is the outcome of the particular table. If you are able to see this, uh, let me sort of zoom this a bit so that it will be more clearer to you is yes, i am doing a group by country and year and i am calculating the max of sales and max of profit now what is the number of columns that i am getting this is my first column this is my second column this is my third column and this is my fourth column which is why you are have able to see all these four columns in the this particular visual right so i hope you are clear with the second example as well let us quickly go to the third example in this example we will be using summarize as a measure or rather inside a measure so let us see how that is done for that i have taken a simple example where i am giving you country and year okay and the sales per country and year so you see the total sales is this particular number right 8803 now this sales can also be calculated using summarize this is just an example that i have written okay uh, you can so that you can apply it in various scenarios so what i am doing basically is i am going to write a variable now why i cannot use directly summarize i cannot return this summarize inside a measure is because measure always returns a single value remember this measure cannot return a table because a table might contain multiple columns right over here i am having country year and sales three columns are there so i cannot return a measure out of summarize directly but i can store this table inside a variable so i have created a variable a1 and i am storing this particular table inside a1 
in the first table what i am doing summarize is going to group by country and year these two columns and i am going to return the max of sales per country and year once that table is calculated then i am passing that table that is a1 inside summx function right so as you are aware summx is an iterator it goes through each and every row and gives the corresponding sales and ultimately it does a sum so that's what uh, i have done so the first argument inside summx is obviously the a1 which is a table and the second argument is an expression that is sales uh, this one which i have passed inside summary so i have hope i hope that you are clear with the concept ultimately i am returning this value as b now the advantage over here is i am returning a scalar value that is a single value to this particular entire measure which is why it's not giving me an error if i only go ahead and return this summarize it will give me an error so once i do that you see i am getting this particular total which exactly matches with this particular total for sales i hope you are clear with the usage of summarize and guys if you are liking my videos please go ahead and like my videos and also i request you to subscribe to my channel to learn new concepts in dax have a great day guys bye bye